Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this propeller over here. We've got a loft with a few complex curves. Um, so let's dive in and see how we do this. I'm going to start by drawing a sketch on the right plane. And then I'm just going to zoom in a bit. An L for line tool. I'm going to draw this up at 7,5 millimeters and push tab to get to the angle. The angle will be 45 degrees. Then I'm going to go over here to create and slot and then we're going to select three point arc slot and our points are going to be at the edges of our line that we drew. The arc radius doesn't really matter now we're going to adjust that shortly and this is going to be 0.75 millimeters. Now we've got our slot arc, I'm going to just push D and I'm going to dimension this construction line in the middle. This is going to be 10 millimeters. And here we've got a nice a flat little arc over there and then finish sketch. Now we're going to go to construct and construct the offset plane from the right. And it's going to be 20 millimeters. Now we'll create a sketch on that plane. I'm going to zoom in again and again we'll start with L for line tool. And this is going to be 15 millimeters and our angle will be 20 degrees. Now we need to dimension this against our origin over there. So we can either click up there, sketch dimension or push D. This is going to be 1,5. And this one will be 7,5. Now we will go create slot tool. This time it'll just be a normal center to center slot and it'll be on this line. And this time we are 0, 0,5 and press enter. Finish sketch. Now our last sketch, we're gonna do another construction plane. So construct offset plane again from the right, this time at 80 millimeters and okay. Now I'm going to create a sketch on this new plane. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to choose L for line tool and draw this six millimeters. I'm just going to dimension it against the origin. It's going to be one millimeter. And then we will go again to slot tool, center to center slot. Select our two edges and this will be 0,1 and finish sketch. So now we've got the three profiles that we're going to loft between but we need to draw some guardrails before we do our loft. So I'm going to create sketch on, it doesn't really matter which plane because we're going to be doing a 3D sketch. So you're just going to go over here and make sure 3D sketch is enabled. This allows you to draw across different planes. So we've got a fit point spline. I'm going to zoom in. See as I get to the edge over there it gives me that little triangle. So we're going to select each one Make sure you get them all and then we'll exit. Now we're going to do that same thing on the other side. And finish sketch. Let's just zoom out. So we've got our guide rails at the front and back as well as our loft profiles. With our rail over here, if we wanted to adjust it, you can just click on the line and use the handle to Get your blade shape exactly how you want. So you can manipulate that a bit if you want. Then we'll go finish sketch. And now we're going to do the loft. So I'm going to create loft. I'm going to select our loft profiles. So I'll select the first profile. Second profile. and our third profile. Yeah, see it's looking quite strange. So I'm just gonna add in our rails and see if that fixes it. So there we've got our blade. So I'm gonna finish that. So for this, I'm gonna create a sketch on the top plane. I'm gonna select C for center diameter circle. And we're gonna go out to 12.5. So I'm gonna push C again and draw this out to six millimeters. And I'll click finish sketch 
and I'll go into extrude. I'll select that profile and we'll go over here to two sides. I think oh, this one will go up to six. And the other one can be two. Now it's not a cut operation, we're gonna do a join operation and okay. Now we've got half of our blade. What I'm gonna do now is do a move copy. So if I right click on it, I can say move copy and I'm gonna select this as bodies. We want it to rotate. So I'll select the axis. I'm gonna select the body as well. Select that body and it's gonna be create copy. This way, once it moves, it creates a copy of the body. So there I've got it on the other side. Let's just check. So it's given us two bodies now. What we can do now is just do a combine. We'll select the two bodies and now we've got one body. Last thing we're gonna do before we add a bit of color is just get rid of this center area over there. So create a sketch on that face. P for project and I'll just project this line over here. So we've got that little circle and finish sketch. I'm gonna use this to extrude down and just cut away the center. So there we've got our blade, it's looking quite good. What I wanna do now is just add a different appearance. So I'm gonna right click, I could push S and type in appearance, or you can right click on it and go to appearance. I want a black color, so chrome black will do, and then uh, anodized. I quite like these anodized ones. So I'm gonna select this face and drop the black over that face. And do the same thing just for the center of the, the shaft there. And then these surfaces, I will put the anodized blue on. So there we've got the little could add something to the edge or the inside, but I just wanted to have a bit different. Um, yeah, so let's let's actually do that. I'm gonna take this red and drop it on the edges of the propeller. So there we go, we've got our propeller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. You can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Till next time, bye.